What's up guys, my name is Brandon, you guys can call me Swifters, and welcome back to a brand new Fortnite video here on my channel today. I'm so excited to be bringing you guys 10 brand new guns that may be coming to Fortnite Battle Royale. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a bunch of weapons that were actually leaked and found in the game files of Fortnite, and because of that, it may be confirmed that we may be seeing some of these weapons come to the game in an upcoming update. Now before we do get started with today's video, I want you guys to let me know right now down in the comment section below what your all-time favorite weapon in the game to use is for me mine has probably got to be the bolt action sniper rifle I love sniping I think it's a ton of fun and every day I'm getting better and better at it so because of that the bolt action sniper rifle is by far my favorite weapon to use but as I said let me know in the comment section below what your guys favorite gun to use in Fortnite is so with all of that out of the way, let's get started with today's video taking a look at 10 brand new leaked guns that may be coming to Fortnite Battle Royale. Alrighty guys, so I wanted to go ahead and start off by saying that a lot of the information that I'm getting for today's video is actually information that was found back in the volume 3.2 patch update, and within that patch update, there was actually information of the heavy shotguns coming to Fortnite, and obviously, as you guys know, the heavy shotguns now are currently within the game, so this information is coming from a patch file that did contain information regarding upcoming weapons, which we now see within Fortnite Battle Royale, and because of that, this information it shouldn't be taken lightly and it's possible that we may be seeing some of these weapons and some of these guns in Fortnite in an upcoming update. So to get started with this list, the very first new weapon or new gun that we may be seeing coming to Fortnite is the Tactical Assault Rifle. As of now, the only rarity classification for it is a Legendary, and the description goes, Assault Weapon, Fully Automatic, Flexible Assault Rifle, Capable of Handling All Types of Combat Scenarios, High Rate of Fire, with Solid Accuracy, When Aiming Down Sights, and Firing in Controlled Bursts. Now obviously, you pretty much need an assault rifle in order to win Fortnite, there are very few scenarios where you can actually win a game without using an assault rifle, but with that being said, I do think that the developers need to give our assault rifles some love within the game. Now obviously, we have our regular assault rifle with the common, the uncommon, and the rare, we also have the two versions of the scar, the purple, and the gold, and then we also have the scoped assault rifles giving us epic and legendary variants as well. Now, of course, we do have the other rarities of the Burst Rifle and the new FAMAS 3 Burst, which gives us new legendary and epic versions of that as well. However, I honestly would love to see a brand new Assault Rifle in Fortnite Battle Royale. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not a huge fan of the scoped Assault Rifles, and it's possible that they may be vaulted in an upcoming update. I know a lot of people like them, a lot of people don't like them. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of the scoped Assault Rifles, so it's possible that with this brand new Tactical Assault Assault rifle when you aim down your sights it's possible that it may have a scope on it which may give us a different version of the scoped rifle that we already have within the game regardless all I'm saying is that I would personally love to see a brand new assault rifle within Fortnite because honestly there are pretty much only two dominant assault rifles in my opinion being the regular assault rifle and the scar so moving on to the next gun we may be seeing within Fortnite, this is the FN P90 and the description for it goes, fires at a very high rate, dealing great damage while consuming a lot of ammo. Good for run and gun combat and accurate enough to fight at mid range when fired in short bursts. Now, in my opinion, I definitely feel like the submachine guns have gotten significantly better from when the game first came out, but first, can we go ahead and acknowledge that I just killed two people by shooting through a floor? This game's a little bit messed up, but as I said, the submachine guns, in my opinion, have definitely gotten a lot better since when the game first came out. However, the blue silent submachine gun really isn't all that powerful, in my opinion. I do think that we do need both an epic and a legendary version of a submachine gun, so maybe having an FNP90 could very well fit the game and give us a little bit of more diversity when it comes to submachine guns within Fortnite. So moving on to the next gun that may be coming to Fortnite Battle Royale, this is a weapon that I'm honestly not entirely sure if it's even possible for it to come to the game just because the original version of this weapon was actually removed with the 4.0 patch update, but here we have the explosive crossbow. Now as I said, I know that the original crossbow was removed when Season 4 was introduced into Fortnite Battle Royale, however, the explosive crossbow was found in the game files, so it does indicate that it's possible that in a 
explosive variation of the original crossbow may be coming to Fortnite. And as I said, there's actually a lot of people that want the original crossbow to come back to the game. So as of now, the developers have decided to put it in the vault so no one can access it now. However, I do think that there is a petition to actually get the regular crossbow back in Fortnite. And with that, we may receive an explosive crossbow as well. So moving on to the next gun that may be coming to Fortnite Battle Royale, this was actually found in the patch of Volume 3.1 update, so definitely a couple of patch updates to go. Here we have the Auto Shoddy. Obviously it's an automatic shotgun that fires a widespread of pellets at an extreme rate of fire and can decimate crowds at a significant ammo cost. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that just this morning, the developers actually changed the shotgun damage of the blue pump shotgun down from 205 to 190. I'm not entirely sure, I could be wrong, that's what I've heard, so it's possible that the introduction of an auto shoddy could maybe, hopefully, with my fingers crossed, balance shotguns just a little bit within Fortnite. Now, obviously, people are always complaining about shotguns being broken, and definitely, there are some instances where you get some such a small amount of damage using a pump shotgun or even using a blue tack. Regardless, it's possible that the introduction of an automatic shotgun could be a really awesome thing. So continuing the trend of possible new shotguns coming to the game, this is another shotgun that was actually found in the game files of Fortnite. Here we have the Break Action Shotgun. Now this shotgun it deals high damage at a fast rate of fire with very short range and a very limited magazine size. Obviously the Break Action Shotgun is essentially a double barreled shotgun and because there are only two shells within it, I assume that if it were to come to the game it should definitely deal a very heavy punch with high amounts of damage but then again shotguns are a little bit iffy right now so maybe adding new shotguns could definitely balance out the shotgun damage that we currently have in the game at the same time it may be beneficial for the developers to actually fix the shotgun damage before they actually end up adding new ones so moving on to the next gun that was also found within the game files that may be coming to the game this is another assault weapon it's called the hammer crush now, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that the Hammer Crush may be in the Save the World version of Fortnite, but this assault weapon is a slug gun. It's a rifle that fires slugs with high damage and impact. It has good accuracy, but a relatively slow rate of fire. Now, as of now, the only rarity that we have for the Hammer Crush is legendary, but regardless, I would personally love to see a higher variation of new assault rifles within the game. Now, I sort of want to go ahead and reiterate the fact that the Hammer Crush weapon alongside the two previous shotguns that I just talked about were all found in the same exact patch file that contained information for the new three burst rifle which we currently have in Fortnite. So all I'm saying is these weapons were found in a patch file with another weapon which we now have within the game and because of that it's very possible that we may be seeing these guns come to Fortnite. So moving on to the next gun that we may see come to Fortnite Battle Royale, this was actually found in the 3.5 patch update, here we have the dual pistols. Now this is a weapon I would personally love to see come to Fortnite and basically this is an akimbo weapon where you actually have a gun in both hands. Imagine how effective this could possibly be at close range if there were both legendary and epic variations of the dual pistol. This would definitely open up the door for different types of akimbo style weapons coming to the game regardless it was was found in the patch files so it may be coming soon. So moving on to the next gun that we may see come to Fortnite Battle Royale, this was also found in the 3.5 patch update, here we have the Space Pistol. Now the Space Pistol is a high tech weapon that shoots fireballs of energy that deal damage to enemies in a small radius. Now I'm sort of getting a Zapatron vibe from this and for those of you who don't know, the Zapatron was a weapon within Fortnite that was actually removed in the 1.6 patch update so a pretty long time ago. I personally think it would be super awesome if the developers decided to implement more laser based or energy type weapons into Fortnite Battle Royale. So moving on to the next gun that was also found in the patch files, this is another explosive weapon. Of course, if I'm not mistaken, I believe we only have two actually explosive weapons being the RPG and the grenade launcher. We do also have the C4 and the grenades, but here we have the mini Moab. This is a small pistol sized weapon that appears to have a rocket on it, so it's possible that this could shoot a miniature rocket. Maybe it doesn't deal as high of a damage as a regular RPG would deal, but of course it could be a really awesome and fun addition to Fortnite. So moving on to the 10th and final gun that may be coming to Fortnite Battle Royale because it was found in the patch files, here we have the Airstrike Laser. 
Now the airstrike laser is obviously a new type of explosive weapon. It allows you guys to mark a location to deliver an airstrike with a four bomb payload. Now this kind of reminds me of the guided missile and of course the guided missile is a weapon that is no longer within Fortnite Battle Royale. But with this airstrike laser it's possible that if you have it you can mark a location on a particular area of the map. I assume it has to be relatively close to you and it can't be a super far distance. So as long as you can see it you may be able to mark it with your airstrike laser to deliver a four bomb payload so obviously this does kind of remind you of the guided missile at the same time it is definitely different and because we no longer have the guided missile within fortnite battle royale having the new airstrike laser could be really awesome so guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. We took a look at 10 brand new weapons that may be coming to Fortnite Battle Royale. As I mentioned in the beginning of today's video, I want you guys to let me know in the comments section below what your guys' all-time favorite weapon to use in Fortnite is. With all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll be sure to catch you guys later.